OMG! It's Gio. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your man, Mr. SK, all day, Scrappy Killmore. Today we're going to be talking about Titanfall 2, and I'm going to give you my opinions on the game nine months after its release. Um, don't forget why you're here. If you like what you're seeing, hit that like button. Comment, let me know what you think, and if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. First of all, let me say, I want to wish, well, I want to say I hope everybody had a happy 4th of July, everyone in the U.S., that is, and uh, a happy Tuesday to the rest of the world, and uh, England, I hope you guys ain't still mad at us. <laughs> uh, I had a great 4th, man. Uh, me and a fam went to a, a fair and had all kinds of fun. Um, I hope you guys had fun and enjoyed yourselves also. Now, let's get into this video. I'm giving my opinions on Titanfall 2, 249 days in after the release okay uh first let's go over a brief history of the franchise um you know titanfall, the titanfall franchise was developed by respawn entertainment which is an awesome name under the circumstances um it was started by jason west the former president of infinity ward and vince Zam uh, zampella the former ceo and co-founder of infinity ward um they had a big dispute with activision when they were at infinity ward so they were fired by Activision, and they left to st uh, start another company called Respawn Entertainment, which is why I say that's an awesome name. Everybody thought they would be dead. No, they respawned. They're back at it. When they left, 46 Infinity Ward employees quit when they left, um, 38 of which went to work for Respawn Entertainment. Um, and they all quit during the making of Modern Warfare 3, which is what caused um, Activision to bring in Raven Software and Sledgehammer Games to finish with um, the making of Modern Warfare 3, which I'll get into that a little bit more in a future video coming this weekend, probably. Um, Titanfall 2, uh, it released on October 28th of 2016, and it was uh, released kind of in a... A highly competitive, very, very tough um, time frame, time window, if you will. It was smack in between two juggernauts. Uh, Battlefield 1 was released one week earlier on October 21st. And, of course, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare released one week after on November 4th. Which, to me, that was a horrible decision by EA to release that game at that point. Because not only, you know, I understand the, the concept behind it, you know, you're trying to hurt Call of Duty sales, but at the same time, by dropping two of your games back-to-back -back weeks trying to hurt Call of Duty, you're hurting your two games that dropped. That, that actually hurt Titanfall 2 and Battlefield 1 in the process. Like, it hurt them immensely. They should have dropped Titanfall 2 a month or two beforehand, then Battlefield 1, because not everybody has the money to go out and buy three top tier shooters back to back to back weeks you know some people just can't afford that so they have to pick and choose and with call of duty being the the titan if you will that it is people are going to gravitate more towards call of duty battlefield one bought uh grabbed a lot of those people who were tired of the back to back to back call of duty futuristic games so maybe they were burnt out on titanfall 2 you know i bought all three of the games on release date and I'll admit, I, I haven't played Titanfall 2 as much as I should have, um, or could have anyway. So I've been playing it a lot more lately, and it seems like any little problems they had have been tweaked, and it's actually a pretty damn awesome game at this point in time, nine months in. So let's get on to uh, some of the pros and cons of this game. Number one pro, in my opinion, is the, the campaign. The campaign is so awesome on this game. In my opinion, it's probably the best campaign to come out on any shooter in probably the last six, seven years. I can't remember the last time I had this much fun on a campaign. Um, you know, when Titanfall 1 released, everybody uh, complained that it didn't have a campaign. It was multiplayer only. So, Respawn listened to the people, and they come out, and they put out a badass campaign. I, I have nothing but respect for this campaign. It's, it actually has replay value. Usually when I play a 
campaign, I don't go back into it, but this one, I would go back and play again. So that's the number one thing I, it has going forward in the pro section for me. Um, second of all, the mechanics of this game are so smooth and so polished, it's, it's unreal. The stuff you can do, even with the future, with the wall running, stuff like that, it's, it's very, very smooth. Um, another pro, this game has excellent gun balance. The gun balance, I don't really find any gun to be too OP, so that right there in itself is, is pretty awesome. A lot of games struggle to find gun balance. Um, multiplayer game modes, the variety is awesome on here. There's, there's no denying that from attrition. I like playing pilot versus pilot. I'm not really big on the Titans. I, I'd rather play pilot versus pilot, but I play them every once in a while. The DLC being free, that right there is a reason to buy this game. That If you don't have any other reason, that's a reason to buy this game. Um, the grappling hook, the addition of the grappling hook is awesome. I like it. It's really, really cool. Um, it feels like they reworked any problems this, had, this game had when it dropped. And lastly on my pros, I'm going to put map design. The maps are absolutely beautiful. They play real well. I really like the maps on this game. Now let's get into the cons. Let's start off with map design. Now you can't really blame map design for this, but it seems like with the maps, people usually camp only one section of the map. And the maps are huge. You know, they're, they're really fun to play. There's a lot of stuff you can do all over these maps, but it seems like everybody gravitates to one building or two buildings out of, out of all the maps. So that's kind of, I, I'm not going to blame the map design on them, but you know, that's sort of a problem with it. Um, the next con, the sonar and map hack. Map hack. I don't like that. Um, I feel that should be like a, something you, you work towards, like a, a, a kill streak. Uh, well, not necessarily a kill streak, but more like um, your, your rigs on Infinite Warfare, how you gotta build up points to get to them. Because, I mean, you play some game mode, people shoot off all these sonars, and it's like, they know where your whole team is already. I don't think you should be able to do that at the very beginning of the game. Um, another con, the time to kill. I feel it should be a little less, especially on Titans. Titans seems like it takes a lot to kill them. So, I mean, they, they could rework that time to kill a little bit, a little tweak to it. It could be a lot better. Um, another thing is the same thing with Battlefield 1 and Titanfall 2. If they would add, like, score streaks or kill streaks, you know, just little bonuses, I think that would be pretty cool. Um, and the last con I have is it, it's if you want to play in a party, it's it's pretty confusing to to get people into a party. I was playing with uh as y'all seen from the little intro of this video, I was playing with uh my boy OMG as Geo the other day, and we were sitting there for about five minutes trying to figure out how to join a party with each other because out of all of my friends that I play with and I'm friends with on Xbox One, he's the only one I know who has this game, which is a shame. I really suggest all of you, if you don't have it, go out and buy this game. It'll probably be a lot cheaper now. You will have fun with it. I guarantee that. If you don't, well, my guarantee is not worth much, so save your receipt. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, if inviting players into your party is a little confusing, so that's like my last con. Total on this game, nine months in, 249 days later, I give this this game a solid eight and a half out of ten rating. I don't have many cons for this game. If they do a little couple more tweaks, because they probably won't release another Titanfall game for another year. So if they continue to support the multiplayer and, and tweak the little the cons, this game could be a ten out of ten. It could just be one of those games that would build too, you know, like CS:GO, how that's lasted so long. But anyways. I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. Like I said, 8.5 out of 10. Go buy Titanfall 2 and play Titanfall 2. Nine months later. Anyway, this is your man, Mr. SK. All day, Scrappy Killmore. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Comment, let me know what you think. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. And I'm out, y'all. Peace.